down through. Lanez has to back off even further. Does get one. USP, that starts it, but for turns it around. Back and forth and forth again. Sent to Mylou, one for two, and finally as it gets around in their favor as he gets both of the USP. And Colts, he's gonna fall to the same man, and that man, he was slow on dust too. Great start, exactly what Aza needs to get Renegades back into this series. This faction has his attention turned the same direction, so crossfire potential. Krat looks away, MP9. Seemingly struggling so far in this series. Manages to get away though, that's a smart play. Brings the AWP up close, don't know if that's what you would have intended because now the AWP goes down. That's the one gun you would like to carry over despite the bonus situation, they've invested a little bit more into it with that. I'll we'll buy him one from Ooh. someone else if they don't pull it back, but Leia's does get fur. MP9, I mentioned it, it just couldn't do enough when they walked in from Ivy Cold. Ooh, he's encroaching. Yeah, he's in a great spot here, Matt. He's the only player of 100 HP. And the godlike aim as well, it seems. Fantastic work from him. Expecting them to jump across. He's got to be careful not to get caught with a flash out. Azza, he'll call it back, but they were there. Gratisfaction gets back in position as a result, and position enough, it seems, as the AWP will do just enough to keep them occupied, allow Azza to slip out in the end in 6 1. And his hope the orb's not bad. The problem going up a ramp right now is you're going to be so desperate to get away from Jacob. You fall right in front of JKS, and Jacob, even without vision, He's got one. This is it. JKS has bomb. They never would have expected him to be on the same side. Stacked up left. And it works out perfectly. Bomb down, fallen. Trying to get forward. He'll be spotted. Does manage to pull one back. His teammate's so far removed, though. He's all the way in T-Sport. If Fallen dies here, round's done. Felt not even worth going for this, to be honest. Defuse coming in. He won't even arrive in time. Yeah. And he's going right to run it. There's no way. Gratisfaction's already got the op. Just keep the AK. You're right. Absolutely at that point. Defuse done. Seven as he jumps out the main entrance, and again, it's a very sloppy approach now. They run through the flames, and they lose the bomb quickly. It's Jacob and Azza, no problem at all, find the first two kills. Cold only gets one, falling off the train, he's caught in the air, and Jacob, he follows it. He'll follow it further, and JKS and actually beats him to the punch, eight to one. This is remarkable. But they have got utility. Will we see a nice little aggressive push yet? Try and get that information, get the first frag, Taco! Aware that Jacob was going to push through, but can't land the all-important shot. Did they steal away the AWP? I don't think so. Fallen's got his eyes on him. He certainly does. He's let it ablaze as well. Meanwhile, cold. Jacob's got another. He rotates back in. Fallen. He timed that to oh! that shit. He absolutely does. I swear you let him have his way, he'll tear you apart. Jacob gets absolutely ripped inside a pop dog. And he got the AWP. He timed that so well. Flames and Extinguish grabs the AWP, drops again. Done. There's not many players that can use the AWP like Ball and close range is where he does his most impressive work. That shot is no different, and now this is winnable for them. They still have a smoke, a Molotov, but Ball and wants another frag before they commit. He's heading towards inside by himself. AWP in hand, but there's so many angles to check. Will he be aware as to where JKS resides? He will now. 16 HP has to fall back. This is war. Fallen's gonna hold it off. Low HP, 16, but he has the AWP. Grat's gonna rotate back around as well, and he spots one toward Evox. That gives Lay has the information. Perfect bait. As he was up above, not peeking, and he knew full well that he had the similar angle, but a higher side of it, and he had the fight. Smoke goes down, Fallen wants back in. Phelps can't do anything about it. Fallen's gotta do it all. Spectacular kill at the start, comes shy in the end. 11 for Renegades at the half. Still more of the same though, and Fur will be looking to challenge as he steps up, hits the first headshot, no problem at all. Can he find more? Oh my god, yes he can. It's gonna be three kills for MIBR and just one player remaining. The third kill for Fur. Phelps takes down JKS, it's exactly the start they wanted. No bomb plant either, so they won't have to worry about too much from Renegades. A very strong rifle now has an AK-47, but he does get caught out slightly. Drops the smoke and buys himself a little bit of time. They're coming out of the main entrance right now. He's got a shooting gallery in front of him as they trade blows outside. Yes, Sningy's back in. That sandwich. Smoke down wants to look under it. Gratisfaction holds behind. Flash out. He gave the position up because JKS was next in and wanted to hold it as well. They will eventually pursue and run him down. That opens up the option of going back up the ladder. Gratisfaction's eyes glanced that way momentarily. It was a possibility, but they'll flash back in. All three are still here. Two MP9s, the Og for Fur. He's the one that really has to control the situation, and he's so far removed. 17 seconds, though. They swing. Ah, oh, it's too late now. They could have potentially done damage with the MP9s. Information will do for Fur, though, if he gets closer. If he gets brought in with these MP9s doing battle and no one suspects his arrival, he'll punish them. 
Taco making noise on the train, just jumping around exactly that reason. And here comes Fur, finds one. He'll look back out toward A-Main as well, but he's punished. JKS gets it back, and unfortunately now the round looks to fall apart as Gratisfaction can just control the bomb. Not only that, he's got JKS working back in. They play the time, and they'll play the round at 12. Well held by Renegades. They lose that first pick. So with 20 seconds remaining, they inside fake and the CTs are pushing up behind them. Oh my goodness, it's Phelps who gets him down to one HP. It's fine, it's fine, even though he doesn't get the- Oh, there he is, that's everything they needed. Because even though he was on the ladder and couldn't get the kill, he fell off the angle, he could still hold them at bay, but he gets caught off, sharks in the water, and Renegade's on the site with just enough time bomb. One second will get planted. Taco works his way back in, at least finds JKS. Fur's still lurking. He's still not con convinced he's completely alone toward Pop Dog, but Taco's found angles. He's got everything going his way, and that's exactly when Fur comes back into the picture. MIBR barely flinch as they fend off the fake towards inside. They rotate towards the outside bomb to there. Like you said, Renegades in one second on the plan. A valiant attempt there. Nice idea. Well executed, but MIBR well too aware. These guys are absolute veterans. They've seen it all. Started to become a bit of a one-two punch. We saw JKS was so effective holding this solo in the first half. We know that Taco was very effective holding B solo on Dust in the first map, but he's got Fur with him, and things have been going so well, they might as well leave him there, certainly against Pistols as well, because if he gets overrun, they don't want to give up a bomb plan unless they have to. So Fur's life lost, but the round certainly won. And Gratisfaction oh. forced off of it. Phelps was able to get the angle on rotation. Now, this is why they picked Train. It all makes sense now. They had a rough start on T-side. It happens to... Doing so, so it'll be the totem drop. Potentially it is. And they'll get one back with it. It was looking a little bit scrappy towards that pop dog area. Now there's only 20 seconds remaining. Can they commit towards outside? Two players towards a pop dog. Time running out. Good HE from Fallen. And he's going to do a ton of damage with it as he looks towards main entrance. I thought he was going to hit that, but still chance for more. There's the bomb. It goes down. He's got that already. Nearly got the one up on top of Blue Train as well, but he's got problems now because they're on all sides. He still hit Azza, but there was two going the other way. And with two seconds, though, they can't plant it. Fur lives out, and that wins the round alone. It's the lead. The lead for MIBR. You take the aim. Perfect shot. Perfect shot from Taco. Shoulder bait. It's going to scare them off as well. They can't just flood out the upper ram now, knowing there's an orb there. They've got a couple of flashbangs, one smoke. They are going for it, there's the smoke and the incendiary behind it, that's genius. And it segregates all of them, they're taking so much damage here. Into the meat grinder they go, it's Taco waiting on the other side. They will get a plant out of this for the looks of things, and they need that. It's a four versus two, maybe there's a chance they can win this. Just enough of that single kill on Fur was all they needed to get that bomb down. Gratisfaction, it's fallen, looks for a little bit more, no chance he was going to win the round at that point anyway. And that might be our fine 14, but the bomb going down is a little bit of salvation for Renegades because it's more money in their pockets and they desperately need that now. Moments of train. Hits that shot fully blind, of course. Does he live? Of course he does. It looks so good for MIBR right now. Can't follow it up this time. As it gets two back and it's the two players on that side, that opens up the lane. Further that with Phelps falling and it's all to Taco. He gets back in. Oh he's followed it as well as it's gone. Gratisfaction's the one with the ball, but he's got to do it all with an AWP, and that's not going to happen. That might be our fine map and series point. We'll call for Cold to get away. There's not another smoke they can put there, so he gets back to the cubby instead. Nades will go immediately by him, and the fact that he spotted two Nades confirms that there's two there, and I almost feel sorry for what Cold's going to do, because they had no oh! idea he was in the corner. He steps back out, and he absolutely takes the round away. Likely the series, Cold on four he's come down with a sickness they don't have the cure for and he's looking for the ace just to shut it out they're even gonna let him they're all standing there saying go for it buddy either way this is done renegades will bow out now legends but no further you gotta respect it you can't deny these guys are legends of the game they progress towards the semi-finals 11-4 down a half but there was no doubt in my mind they could bring a comeback to the table there Fantastic stuff.